Hey there, everybody. So, um, this week's episode of Inland Saga, um, started out with, um, with the uh, fogs uh, once again being, uh, reprimanded by the uh, leader of the, uh, guest bodyguard snake to, um, ba- to basically, um, l- leave, uh, Thornton and, uh, Aenir alone. And, uh, and... Uh, uh, and, and if they ever try and prank Thornton by physically assaulting him or 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 ain't or near ever again, um, Snake warns them that um that 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 they're basically um not going to be able to eat by using their jaws, which means uh. That that snake is gonna beat the living fucking shit out of him, but uh, but um, but Bubby 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 Boy Snake tells them that guys um um after Snake makes frogs um but 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 basically explain uh, what what happened at Thornton. He has thought in his name, and then um, and then um, Sn- Snake tries to uh, kick Thornton, and then uh, r- r- and then right as Snake's uh, about about to kick Thornton, um, um, Thornton actually hallucinates and actually envisions instead of Snake trying to attack him. That it that it's um ask a lot instead, and then and then um guys that makes uh Thornton's um training training as a uh per, training as a uh, killer and a mercenary um come come through, and then S- Snake is impressed, and he tells Thornton that um that that Thornton's body body's re- 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 reaction by blogging that kick is um Gordon's body um t- t- telling his brain um that it that it won't, still wants to live and survive e- even though he doesn't want to and then um eh, and then um Ain Ain is like uh that 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 re that reaction that he, that you gave just then, um, it's not normal. And the um care, caretaker of the uh, farm, um, the uh, person in charge of um the uh, of uh Gordon Ainier and the uh, rest of the master slaves, um, Peter or Potter, um, how, however you say his name. Um, ba- basically says that uh, that that he's um sorry that uh Thornton and Anya had had to get so beat up, but 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 and, and aside from Thornton's um ear being partially sliced off, um that 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 that. That the rest of his injuries are pretty small and should heal up pretty well, and that um the uh, caretaker says um that um that 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 uh, that 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 they should be thanking and the um the um master's personal maid and the um and and that and uh and and. and and uh, and the um, person that um ain't ain't as a crush on, um, but um, but 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 after Potter basically um um treats Gordon's wounds and um and uh, and, uh, and and applies medicine to his ear, um. To, to make sure that it that it doesn't fester into something more deadly in terms of an infection, um, um, he had to give Thornton one of his old shirts 
sent them, though the other clothes were um, shredded in um, Fox's almost um, execution style of a prank. And, um, and, uh, and it's Amir that, um, basically tries to tell Gordon, Hey, uh, hey, this, this guy right here treated your injuries and literally gave you one of his shirts and you don't even have the respect or decency to say thank you. And then, um, Potter's like, Hey, I, hey, I don't mind. I, I know Thornton's a man of few words anyway, so I'm used to it. And, um, and, uh, uh, and, uh, and, and even though, um, the, uh, caretaker tells, uh, Thornton that, uh, and, and a near that, um, that, um, that, 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 that they should both take the day off and he'll explain everything to um to to the master. Um Thor Thornton decides to go um di direct directly back to the forest to uh, get, to continue cutting down trees anyway. Um be because guys that's uh Thornton's instincts as a warrior kicking in. And then um and then the uh, rest of the episode, guys, is, uh, is Anir basically asking Thornton questions about his past. And he's like, hey, Thornton, have you ever been to war? And then Thornton's like, yes. Have you ever killed anybody? And if so, how many? And then Thornton's like, yes. I was a former warrior. I I was even involved in the Danish invasion of England. And um but 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 I've killed so many people over the years. I've I've basically been on the battlefield since I've been five or six years old. I can't remember how many people I've killed. De to me, though, these wounds are nothing. It's because I'm a warrior. And then, um, and then, um, th and then Thornton has a, n uh, uh, another nightmare later on that night when, uh, when, uh, when, uh, Thornton and Anya are, ba are back in the barn trying to get some rest. Um, and then, um, and and that one, guys. Anar has um, ba basically almost had enough of of a uh, of Lord, of of Lord than being a jerk, and 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 that they're hearing that that the that 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 Lord, that Lord than has killed so many people. Um, Anar almost attempts to um strangled Thornton while he's having another nightmare. And then, um, and then Thornton actually wakes up screaming and then, um, tries to tell Amy that, that, that he's sorry. Um, and, and Thornton even says, hey, look, man, I, 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 I'm no better. I'm no better than than the group of men that 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 killed your family. I'm sorry. And then um and then Amy is like, first of all, you, you don't have to apologize to me because it's because it's not like you do. This time it's not like you directly had anything to do with my. Mom and sister being killed, but, but, you you have to promise me from this point on that you do want to live because I'm tired of you keep keep repeating the fact that you don't want to. Um, right. I don't. I don't. All right. I don't know how many people you killed, and I don't want, and I don't want to imagine that L 
but 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 Ellen Brunson that your life has been up until this point. You still have to live and and remember we as of right now still still have a chance to live. We still have we still have the chance to eat, sleep and take a shit and and my family all, all those victims that you killed don't but we still have the opportunity to live and you have to seize that with every facet of your being. And that and then the and then the episode ends guys where they uh shot of Prince Canute um walking along. So yeah. Um no um kind of a kind of a more um, laid back episode, but guys it it was still really cool to see a uh, cameo of Asgard and our first glimpse of a Prince Can Prince Canute for this season. Um have a good one.